What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to the, I guess, final episode or the final video on the Drift Club Mexico leaderboard top 1000, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, welcome back. First of all, sponsor time. The subscribe button. Now really quick, if you're brand new to the videos and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Click notifications button as well. Uh, try to get to 400,000 subscribers and obviously I can only do that with your help. So if you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Anyway. Back to the video. Now, if you've kept up with all of these, I've messed around and played pretty much every single one of these up until now the most recent one. Sorry, not the most recent one, but the, the very last one that's here. And, uh, yeah, we got pretty high on the leaderboards on a lot of them. Uh, I've obviously been, uh, you know, been getting knocked off more and more, you know, because more and more people are actually doing these. Uh, but I'm still fairly high up on the leaderboards, um, as you can see here. Plus, now there is a little thing that is changing the tires of the cars that you're driving. Uh, because we're in winter, so for whatever reason, the game automatically changes your tires. So you'll be able to see some of the scores are different here uh, because of the PIs. Very, very weird. Let's put it that way. It's very weird that the game decides to change your tires for you. Uh, but I'm still fairly high up on the leaderboards. I'm kind of happy with the positions that I am on, on a lot of these. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one is going to be the last one that I'm going to end up doing here. Uh, and I'm nowhere near top of thousand because I think the last time when I've done this was... Literally just so I can get the three stars and leave it there because I wanted to obviously do these sort of videos So let's get started Let's see what we can do here. I don't know <clears throat> I don't know exactly where do all your points like I accumulate here brought some friends, Rob. Yeah, well just the local chapter of Drift Club Mexico We thought we'd surprise you. Okay. Well, this seems very long more spectators than I expected for a secret club Right Let's put on a bit of a show then. Right. So I don't think this is what I need to get points with. Just turn it. Oh, just go straight down the stairs. So I'm gonna do my hundred thousand points here. This is Mr. Kenneth Blocks, Hooligan Jim Carner 10, Ford Focus, RS. I'm gonna speed up really quick here, because I wanna see how this works. This I've literally only done this like once. Literally only done this once, so I have no idea how I need to do this properly. Okay. So I'm gonna get my hundred thousand points here. That I need to get because I need to change to the the Mustang Mach E. I need to change it for that. So we'll try a speed speed run this. This is the only issue here, because I feel like I need to do this every single time now. Now follow the tunnels. Watch the walls. They snaggy. It's an interesting concept, right? Wait, target has 10,000 drift points. Left, left and fork. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so does this count then to my final score? I need to I need to find out. Right, I need to find out. If now, after I continue with the Mustang Mach E to do all my drift points, are my points gonna go back to zero and I have to start again? Or. Coming up on the end, and a peak at the future of drifting. Or is it gonna get added on? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, I'm at 274. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I've got a bit of a confession. Okay. Let's see. We've got another car for you to have a look at. Is that what I think it is? Okay, this is going to be a little bit more RTR weird, I think. Mustang this whole Mac mission thing that I'm doing now. The first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? Okay. No, my points are from zero was again. Customized by drift legend and engineering wizard, Mr. Vaughn Gitten Jim. Oh, do you get more points for people at oh, RTR? God. Why? Do you to get more points for this being in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive? This is the thing, right? Right now I'm oversteer. What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh yes. Vaughn is quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? For the members. Getting behind so the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. Together, 
my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what it can actually do. Turns out, it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1,400 horsepower so we can do anything from drifting to high-speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. Ford has made it clear that they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space, and this is just the start. I've watched even the most seasoned vets turn into giggly little kids behind the wheel and in the... Don't care, mate. Sorry if I'm getting that junior, but I don't care. All wheel drive. The motor layer so now we change it to rear-wheel drive. drive. So now these are the points I think that count. Right? So all of that bullshit that I had to do before was absolutely pointless. So just toggle it over from all... Okay. So now I need to go from here to here. How many, how many minutes do I need? Three minutes. I have three minutes to go from there to there. Do I turn around and go up and down on the highway once? Probably, right? That would probably be the best thing to do. The only problem is, am I allowed to? Wheel or are all the roads blocked? Into rear wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest drive oh swap you will ever do. Oh, this is going to be weird. I don't know what's better, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Probably all wheel drive, right? Okay. Am I even going the right way? I am going the right way. But I look like, can I cut here? Okay, I can. I'm going to the highway. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing right now because I feel like I'm going to fail this. Okay. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. I definitely need to, to find a way to do this properly here. There's a house. Trying to avoid that. I can't see anything either. Like, it's... I hate this... This time of day, right? It looks cool, right? It looks perfectly fine. But when I'm trying to d drive and actually see where I'm going, it is the most annoying thing ever because I cannot see the roads. And none of these roads are like lit up or anything. Okay, maybe rear wheel drive this better? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know which way I should be approaching this or going. I'm gonna go up and down on the highway like once or twice. This is weird. This feels so strange to drive. I'm gonna turn around. It's probably the best thing about this being all-wheel drive is that I can just turn around on the spot pretty much. Almost instantly. Wait, where's the part of the highway that I can get off? I, I think it's just here, right? And I just follow this road up until I get to the finish line? I'm just gonna do that. I have a minute to get there. That's the good thing about this car now, being all-wheel drive. Is that I can absolutely hammer it along. I keep that speed up as well. Whereas I think if it was rear-wheel drive, I probably wouldn't be able to do this. Sim steering makes a huge difference as well. This thing handles insanely well. Definitely didn't handle like this when I was driving it the first time around, because I don't think I was using sim steering. My first time around, I mean like when I was just getting the three stars. Alright, 30 seconds to do two kilometers. I mean, I could just drive normally now. Let me get a couple more points while I'm going that way. Okay. 
I did waste a lot of time though. I, did, I wasted a huge amount of time. So there's a million. I can definitely get a million points, I think, by the time I get to the end. This is fine. No, I'll, I'll restart this. So I think it'll just put me back to, to there when I had to change the thing to rear wheel drive. Let me see. Please don't start me all the way back with the. Okay, good. So now. So just toggle it over from all wheel okay. drive into rear wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest yeah, yeah, yeah. drive train swap you will ever do. Yeah, definitely right. Wait, what's the fastest way to get there? That is. Probably cut that, go to the road, maybe use the road a little bit. I don't know if going down is better than going up. That is it. That is a bit of a, a bit of a question here. I definitely want to go on the road here. So just use use my power with this thing to just keep my speed up as much as I possibly can here. Send myself over to the highway really quick. And there we go. Now, start building points. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it now. This is much, much better now. Now that the road is narrowing as well, I'm gonna just do a full 80 here. Nah, it's too far. I've sent myself just fully off the road here. Without getting any points. That's much better. Alright. Build up the speed, go back and forth on the highway. I don't really know how many points I need to get here. I wasn't really paying attention when I was picking out the... Or when I was just like selecting the event and looking at the leaderboard or something. I think I can just restart every single time though. That is the, the one good thing about this, right? If I don't like what I just did here, if I go to restart, hopefully it just puts me back to this position here. To where this Mustang is. And I don't have to do the whole... A whole bit of drifting the focus as well as this. I have a lot more time now, so I think I think it's good that I'm, I'm still sliding. This is nice, 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 nice. Keep this going. Also, that range for the destination there is not changing. So I think I'm going the wrong way, so that's not going to update. So I can't really trust how far I am. Let me speed up a little bit here. I'm over a mil points now. Okay, maybe a little bit less drifting next time around. Or maybe don't go as, as far up. Because right now, See how close I'd be. Finishing. Fairly close. Okay, so don't go as far up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what I have to do. I see exactly what I have to do. Um, and when I go off-road there and I stick to that road, maybe try not to slide it and just get to the highway as fast as possible. Maybe just do that. Maybe I think that's that's the way to do it. So the bit that's before the the highway, which I'll show you guys now, so, just toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, okay. and then off Go we go. These. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. Try to position myself in a way where I'm just gonna go straight for the highway here. Without caring about the points. So go, 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 use this road. This is what I was saying, like, just don't use this road to slide, pretty much. 
Just go as fast as possible. I'm get myself onto the highway here. And now I can slide. Now I can get my points. I can still go to the same place and turn around. I should probably get more points now. As I've spent my time more on the highway than anything else. And definitely less points than what I had before. But I don't have to worry about just driving in a straight line at all now. I think I should probably be able to just continue sliding the entire way to the city. And I'll have to worry about, you know, driving in a straight line at all or worry about my time. Okay, obviously keep the speed up. This big slide is going to be like 20k points every single time. Which is good, because every time I transition, I... It's bad. <laughs> oh, I hate that this is at night time, man. It's so annoying. It's not even night. It's like dusk. Give okay, a dumb amount of points. This is great. Come on, speed up again. See, I guess that's the good thing about being the keeping this thing all-wheel drive. Is I just get up to speed instantly again. Okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. I'm getting to that corner a lot faster than what I would have noticed or would have hoped. Okay, 20 seconds. I think I can drive this on a straight line here. A little bit of an angle here. Come yeah, on. On behalf of Drift Club Mexico, as well as RTR and right. Ford Performance, let me thank you for this show of the noble art of intentional oversteer. So, we thought you might like to keep the Mac E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have it. Come on. That's amazing. But wait, won't Vaughn want it back, though? Oh, this is an exact duplicate of his. Let's just say I'm a bit excitable, too. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Leaderboards. 28. Ooh, start off strong. Start off strong. I like the 28th in the world. Okay. Uh, around 1.4 mil points is what I should be like aiming for, I guess. On behalf of Drift Club Mexico. Okay, 25th. A little better than before. There still has to be another way to do this. Like better. How did I squeeze that out? <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. We take those. Let nice. Little improvement. Show. Right. Improvement time, boys. 20th in the world. We like that. We like that. Alright. We keep going. Uh, I'll show you guys this row that I've just done now. And I'll show you exactly how, how I've done it. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, 
So just spam that toggle button, it over, spam it again. Wheel drive into rear wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, okay. and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. Nice. So this is pretty much what I ended up doing. I'll show you exactly what I just done. Get on the road here. We go a little sideways here. Something like this. Nice. A little angle here and there. Nothing too crazy, you know. Try to spend too much time sliding around on this road. We go over here. And then we start cutting across, because I'm going to go onto the highway, but I'm going to go right this time instead of going left. So I'll show you guys how that works. And I only went, I went until I got about half a million points, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to turn around a little bit earlier. I'm going to do like four, 460,000 points. Also trying to crash into the barrier, because that's just going to slow me down. So I don't really care that I'm rewinding. I'm also trying to keep these slides going for a little bit longer because right now I'm just sort of going back and forth, but I'm not really doing much. There you go, that's a little more like it. What did I say about 460? I'll do 460. Okay, now we turn. It's fine. We go back. I should have a lot more time this time around to, to sort of slide because the last time I just sort of like closer to the end I just sort of just drove in a straight line. I didn't really do much. So I can slide a little more this this way. The only problem is last time obviously I slid more on the highway. It just it was just a tiny bit more. That was like forty extra thousand points. Okay, we're good. Just continue and trying to keep that speed up as much as possible here as well. Definitely over 100 miles per hour. Maybe save some of a few of these long slides, maybe. Last time I was at a mid point here. This time I'm not, obviously, you can see. Before these, these corners here, is I ended up it's not really sliding too much here. I just sort of just drove through them. Okay. Big old slides now. Big slides, big slides. Oh, come on. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. Ah, oh, no. I'm just going to restart it. Of Drift Club Mexico. Well, I tried rear wheel drive as well, and it's just not going great. Because I just don't have the speed to get... I don't know, I just don't have the grip to get up to the speed that I need to get to every single time. So this is pretty much kind of where I've been left with if uh, if I was driving at rear-wheel drive. Also, I'm getting a huge amount of rubber banding. Um, so I don't think I could try this any more time. I'll do one last try. One last try and I'll have the whole run filmed. And I'll show it to you. But this is this is gonna be the last one. I'm getting, like I said, a huge so amount of rubber banding. It over from if you don't know what that means, I don't know if it's the connection or it, I know for a fact it's because that I kept doing the same event over and over again. That's why it happens. But yeah, rear drive. I was not able to do what I'm doing right now with this thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or how well you'll be able to see the rubber banding. But basically, what happens is the whole game sort of slows down like a quick second, like just for a little bit. So my controls are just sort of almost doing nothing, you know, they're like really, really delayed. So 
That is definitely because I've been doing this too many times. I've had way too many attempts, so that's pretty much why the game's rubber banding. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure why it's doing it in this game, though. I feel like it should shouldn't. But basically, like I said, is areas that I'm doing right now that just will end up lagging me. Like it's just it's just lag. It's basically just lag. But it's game lag. I don't know why it does it. It's not because of my system, it's not because of the internet or anything like that. It's literally just the game's being stupid. <laughs> That's literally it. The game is just being dumb. So we'll do one last run here. I tried it going up the other way as well. And back down this way. And it's just... That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I tried to send it like properly sideways here. Come on, man. Just go. Let me go past it. Surely. There. Better. Try to keep it continuous so I can turn around and keep going, you know what I mean? Okay. Keep on sliding. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Oh man, this is so annoying. This lag is so annoying. Oh my god, it's getting worse and worse the more I drive. It feels so awkward. It feels really, really awkward. Okay, I try to keep the speed up now. Oh my god, it is horrendous. Why does it do this? It doesn't do this in the Illuminator. And I don't think it does this in Rivals either. It's just on this. It's just on the drift missions. I, I wonder. It does it a lot when I rewind as well. So if I'm doing like a stupid, like you know, PR stunt or whatever, and I have to rewind a lot, or I am rewinding a lot. It's oh my god, the delay! <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It is so bad. The delay from me doing something on my controller to what's actually happening on the screen. It's like I'm getting a lot of input lag, which just doesn't make sense at all. Why well, it does it. It's awful, man. It is awful to play like this. This is what it's like. I don't know if you guys... Like, if people play a game like this on their uh, on their TV and not on a monitor, that's what it's like. If you know the difference, if you've ever played it, the same game on a TV and the monitor, that is the difference. That is literally what this is like. There's like a huge delay between me pressing something. It just feels like a ton of input lag. On behalf I'm gonna leave of it there. Drift Club Mexico, as well as so whatever I got before 20th folks, in the world or whatever it was, I'll, I'll have to stop with that because it's bad. I've been recording for about an hour. Overstate. Right, we're done so here. 19th in the world with 1.25 million points. Made it to 19th in the world. We'll, we take that. We take that. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna finish it there. There's not really much else that I can, I can do here. Uh, I can't. I can't. I literally at this moment in time, I can't drive any better. Uh, maybe I'm doing the whole route wrong. I'm sure people will correct me in the comments below uh, if I was doing it wrong. But that is the best route that I could find in the small amount of time that I usually give myself to try a pop a thousand of these. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. That's, uh, that's not terrible. But I guess that's the end of this little series of, uh, of me trying to top a thousand, I guess, or whatever it is. Wow, it's lagging even here. So I genuinely have to shut that. Yeah, I have to shut down my game, I think. Or was it because I was in the city? No, it's not lagging here. No. Nope. Here is fine. Yeah, here it drives fine. Cars, cars drive fine. There's no lag, no input lag, nothing. It's nice. Okay, well. I guess I'll leave it there. Thank you everybody for watching the series. Thank you for watching the videos just in general. If you're new to the channel, as usual, subscribe to the channel. Helps a lot. Uh, yeah, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever it is you guys want to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.